For the first time ever, I'm actually wearing color on my lips. Hey guys, it's me Joyce and today I'm going to be doing a what's on my iPhone video. Woo! Um, I can't say that this was a highly requested video because nobody requested me to do this video but I just decided that I would go ahead and save you guys the hassle of having to ask me what's on my iPhone and just show you guys. So, um, yeah, hopefully you guys don't think that I'm like bragging about what I have. I'm super thankful for everything that I have. And um, yeah, I know usually people only do this video if it's requested, but I just thought it'd be fun and I needed a video idea, so it's the best of both worlds. So starting off with a basic overview of my phone, I have the silver iPhone 5S and it's in this case, but um, you might think it's, wow, it's spec, it's so nice, but this is actually a fake spec, so I thought, I think you would call it like a feck, it's, it's a feck. Um, my friend got it for me, and I think it was only, th I want to say two or three dollars, so, you know, money well spent, because this thing protects my phone, um, like nobody's business. <laughs> um, I can drop it, and it won't crack. Not, not that it has yet, um, but yeah, so I don't really know where she got it from or how she got it at such a great deal, um, but if you guys want to know, please do tell me in the comments down below. I'll ask her and I'll give you guys like a website link or something. Okay, so right when you open my phone, you see a picture of my friend Allison and I, and this is during a pep rally, so we're juniors, so we wore red. And now I'm going to do the fingerprint. Ooh, it actually worked. Usually it takes me like 10 tries. And then, um, as you can see, my apps are extremely organized. Um, I'm kind of a neat freak when it comes to having all the apps like line up in a row and having four apps on each row and not any like loose ones hanging around. Um, and then you can see there's a picture of my friend Ashley and I and that was during our tennis awards night. Um, so starting from the top, I just have calendar, photos, camera, settings, um, just the basics, uh, settings, there's that little notification thing and it wants me to update to iOS 8 or something, but I really don't want to, but the little notification thing annoys me sometimes because when all my apps don't have any notifications and it's just the settings that does, it's like, can you just go away? And now on the second row, I just have Gmail, Notes, FaceTime, and the Bible. I really, really like the Gmail app. I think it's super convenient. Um, I rarely ever have to check my email on my um, computer anymore because I have this app. Uh, notes, I really like taking notes. I have a whole bunch of notes, and um, it's just really handy for me to remember things because I always forget things. And FaceTime, I use that mm, occasionally, not so much. I just like to FaceTime my friends and... Yeah, that's about it. Then I have the Bible, and this app is really, really awesome because you don't need Wi-Fi to um, use it. So sometimes if my battery is, like, dying, I'll put it on airplane mode and I'll just use that during church. In the third row, I like to kind of call this the social media row, and I can definitely say it is my most used row. Wow, um... Okay, I said row a lot, <laughs> sorry. Um, but I just have Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and Facebook, and, um... Yeah, it's just like the basic things. I don't know if I should open them and show you, but they're my apps. <laughs> Look at how pretty they are. But I will link my Instagram and my Snapchat down below. So, you know, if you want to um, follow me there, that would be awesome. And also Snap... No, 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 wait. No, not Snapchat. Um, and also my Twitter. Uh, I use this a decent amount. I don't really... Um, post interesting things on Twitter, that probably made you not want to follow me. But, um, you know, sometimes I post cool things occasionally, mostly just about school, because, you know, hashtag school is life. Then on my fourth row, I just have these folders where I hold other apps, and for here, it's editing, and I just um, use these to edit my Instagram photos. I have Stitch, which I don't use that much, but, you know, if my friends have a birthday or something, it's really nice to have this to put a lot of photos on and embarrass them and say happy birthday. Um, then I have Rookie. I really like this app especially for editing photos. I feel like it's a great app. Um, it's free and you can have 
a great amount of filter choices and options and it's it's awesome so yeah you guys should definitely check out rookie if you want to have some great affordable editing apps then I have InstaSize and this is basically how I just get the white border around my um around my photos and yeah I have kinda weird photos so you know that's that's great and yeah, I also like InstaSize because it's really easy to use. You basically just upload your photo and it fits in a white box. It's amazing. You don't need to like move it or anything. Um, you can move it if you want to, but it's optional. Then in this folder, I have Education. I have SAT, um, Question of the Day, Dictionary, Word Reference, and Edline. And um, I don't know if you guys use Edline, but this is what we use in order to check our grades. And SAT question of the day, that's kind of explanatory. Um, you get one SAT question every day. Um, Dictionary.com, I don't really use this as much, so, you know, it's not really something that is opened a lot. But every once in a while, I need to look up what a word means, so I'll use that. And then word reference, this is great for um, translating if you guys are in any foreign language class. This is out of focus. If you guys are in any foreign language class, um, you should definitely download Word Reference because it will save your life when you're trying to translate things and you don't know what words mean. Um, then in my third folder, I just have Pandora and music, and I absolutely love Pandora. It's basically the only thing that I listen to. And um, here are my radio stations. I do not know why there's a Dallas String Quartet radio. I have never listened to that ever but um yeah as you can see like most of them are just like Christian playlists and stuff and um in music I don't have any music as you can see no content as you know I'm a loser and I don't really listen to music when there's no internet okay so my last and final folder in this row is um world and here I just have weather clock and google maps I prefer google maps over the regular maps that they give you I feel like it just works better and um it's a lot cleaner so I would recommend that you guys get Google Maps. Um, then I just use the regular weather and clock and, you know, the basic stuff. Oh, I forgot to mention, um, at the bottom I have phone, messages, and Safari. I only keep three here because I feel like these are the three that I probably use the most. Maybe not Safari as much, but I just thought that, you know, it would work here. And it's really easy to just click on them. Four just feels like a little bit too much. Um, now at the top, as you can see, I kind of left this top row so that like whenever I have my um, home screen, you can see the picture. So I don't know if you guys want to take that tip, but that's what I do. And um, in this photo, folder, folder, in this folder, I have um, shopping. And basically, I have Rent the Runway. In case you guys don't know what Rent the Runway is, you can just rent awesome runway dresses for, um, I think, four days. And they're like really cheap compared to the regular retail price so it's really awesome to like feel like you're a model for a night um... then i have retail me not and this is an awesome app for you know coupons and stuff and um... you can just like find out what's on sale and then go to those stores and use coupon and save money and it's great it's great um... then my next folder is health and this is basically my period tracker. If you guys don't know, my period tracker is so confused by my period and if you guys want to find out why, you guys can check out a video that I'll link be below about my um, embarrassing period story in case you guys want to know, you know, because that's always fun. Then for store, I have the app store. Yeah, I literally just created one folder for one app because I just wanted the entire row to be folders. like. That's how crazy obsessed I am about keeping my phone very, like, clean. Um, then here I just have uh, useless stuff. I have, you know, tab finder, video, newsstand, game center, compass, stocks. Yeah, that says stocks. Um, <laughs> fast book and mail. And, um, yeah, this is just basically, like, the stuff that they give you that you can't delete. So I just kind of put it here. Um... Yeah, so that was my iPhone. Hopefully that wasn't too boring for you guys. And I don't know. I like the way I organize my iPhone, kind of. I think it's easy to find stuff. And yeah. If you guys did enjoy, you guys know the routine. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe because I make new videos every once in a while. Uh, yeah, that's... <sighs> I need to fix that one day. 
at the end of my video I'll be like subscribe because I make videos every Monday and Wednesday and it'll be an awesome day we can celebrate and you guys can all comment down below telling me that I finally made a schedule for when I was gonna post my videos but until then um, you guys are just gonna have to be surprised it'll be like happy birthday new video two weeks later <laughs> yay but I hope you guys had a wonderful wonderful day and um yeah so stay awesome guys and i'll talk to you guys later bye i'm finally wearing lip color oh maybe i should just film my video back here Put it back here. Put it back here. Put it back here. Oh my gosh. My cardigan keeps on falling off because it's like, it's literally wings. Like, I'm fine. Just kidding.